Hello and welcome to SnowRunner. Today we're looking at the Antarctic, which is part of the Max Pack, which is going to be coming to console mods. So we got quite a few configurations for this one. Now this Max Pack is made by XD00DX001, and I've done quite a few of these videos so far. We're just going through all the different vehicles and this is the next one to have a look at now you can see on this one we have got the Tega tires on it and this one has proved to be pretty stable i've had a little bit of a go on it now you can see we've got the extra lighting configurations on there as well where he's added those extra lights down there and they are pretty bright they are really are i'll show you that when we come i'll tell you what let's just reverse up now so we can see a decent beam on it and then if we fast forward time which we put it to dark super dark time if i can get where is it 12 o'clock and you can see that's them without the lights on and then you put the full beam on and that is super bright it really is fantastic these led light conversions are awesome anyhow so let's go into the garage and i'll show you what options are available so here we go now the engine options we've got the three main ones we've got and those have been slightly tweaked i think that one's the standard one anyway and then we have the military one which is the turbo diesel and we'll give that one a go today and then we've got the gearbox wise he's got the two now these gearboxes are bespoke to the max pack where you've got these eight gear one and the six gear one and then obviously we've got these standard special and the advanced special which you get anyway and then suspension wise you've got the stock there is a raised one on there which takes it up to there and then i'm using the active which the active one it drops it down quite low and gives you that extra bit of clearance if you need it and then tire choices quite a few different tire choices on this one as you can see there are pretty there's quite a lot on there square wheels if you want them i haven't showed you any of those yet but they are there now some of these wheels you can see that rim they're not fitted right yet where they do need tweaking as we had a few problems with this one with the steering and what have you so that's why i haven't showcased it before so it is work in progress so it needs a bit of tweaking here and there now the other thing about the max pack is the winches you're going to get a tomless winch with 25 percent 50% and then 100% and they're on the length and the power so even the 25 has got plenty of power which I'll show you that because we're going to do a recovery and then you've got your normal standard winches and then we move on to your snorkel options where there's a few on there I can't remember which ones were stock and which ones weren't I don't think that one was a stock but I could be wrong we'll have one of those anyway just in case we encounter some water now and then we'll have a look we've got some frame add-ons which are going on the roof there and then we move on to the yeah that's the, sorry i was getting the thing eh? that's the max crane on there which is a stronger crane than the standard one and then we've got the the cargo uh, the sideboard and then that one is the rv cargo cabin with 2000 uh fuel 2000 spare wheels and then 2000 repair points and then we got the bigger version with 3000 of each one on there and then that one's the smaller one with a thousand and then looking on to the flatbed van body add-on then the max van body add-on when you can see you've got 64,000 on that one so that's a stat more of a standard one if you want that but if you want the the super duper one with uh, with the fuel as well then you can have that one now we can fit the seismic vibrator module on it as well and then that's another sideboard and then we've got the fuel tank what goes on there there's a max fuel tank as well which is slightly bigger and then we have a roof rack then the normal loading cranes and then course saddle high saddle low now previously on the antarctic all we had was a sideboard and that was it which made it pretty much useless because you couldn't do a lot with it but now we've got the opportunity for both so i thought we use saddle high today so going on to the other options available and that hasn't changed nor the beak hang on I see the oh it was the beacons angled with beacons yeah that was the sorry that was the front visor and then on the roof we've got the leds on there oh hang on come back out of that and then front bumper we've got a couple of different front bumpers on there now 
they're not changing for some reason so that's obviously a bug because they're not both the same now, I'm not sure why those two aren't changing there which is a bit strange but there you go and then it's got the horns the exhaust we've got a few different options on there which I think they were the standard ones anyway I think we stick with the the stock one I do prefer the exhaust what come underneath so if you don't want to see all the uh, the smoke gun anyway you don't need to and then we have a few different rims but these have got some issues there you can see they're not fitting with the Tager tires at the moment but like I said it's work in progress this is why we're doing testing and then we've got all the normal different colors available we've added these ones down here I don't think we had these previously did we I can't honestly remember let's go with the red it looks nice in the red and that was it apart from all your bobbleheads and all that if you want that so let's take it out for a spin and see how we get on because we have got the upgraded engine and the higher speed on the gearbox now one of the things I found about it at the moment is the speed on the steering is a little bit quick but it probably needs to turn that down a little bit because well the the original the standard one that is really slow it's uh, a little bit too slow I didn't really get on too well with the um, the Antarctic but let's get that one hooked up now we're gonna use oh stop yeah that's just gonna push that away isn't it yep hang on let's get on there now we're gonna use the this new trailer what's come available which uh, this is a nice trailer actually it's uh, a little bit better than the other ones you can see we've got a, it's a little bit lower on the ramp and what have you so while we're here let's show you what the suspension's like so that suspension goes up quite high if you need that little bit of clearance you can do that so let's take it out for a spin so I'll tell you what let's go around that, that way first and it's nice to be able to use it with saddle high because normally you haven't got well it was just a sideboard which I remember when I actually got to rank I think it was rank 24 or 26 something like that and you're like yeah I'll get it and then I got the truck and you just couldn't do nothing with it you're like what it's got a sideboard and that's it you're like oh great brilliant just what you don't want but never mind so let's put it into the all-wheel drive because that helps now has it got yeah it's got the rear wheels and then so you can have it in the four-wheel drive or the six-wheel drive so we keep it in the six-wheel drive and I put a vehicle into the river earlier and I didn't have a snorkel on it did I so we lost it a little bit now hopefully I'll miss that trailer no nope, just caught the end of it but never mind let's let's get it down there so yeah this steering is a little bit probably too quick but it is you move it a little bit and it just boof boof too quick like that but this is why we're testing I just like the idea that you can use this for a lot of other purposes now whereas the standard one in the game you can't do really do a lot with that and you see we have got a slow it down we have got plenty of power with the military engine now, the trouble with the Tager tyres is you don't get much traction on the asphalt but never mind it does that slidey around a little bit off road they're brilliant there we go well but it's not that bad we can control it but I just never yeah see I screwed that up going around that bend it's gonna catch but never mind we got the power to drag that round so now I've got a collab down here so I haven't used this trailer before so I'm hoping we should be able to just drag drag the collab out put it on the trailer and see what it goes like with a little bit of weight on the back I do like that in the red I think it's just because I'm not used to seeing it in the red so there is the collab there now I'm wondering if we should just winch onto it and then just drag it out we should be able to just drag it out we should have enough power we should soon find out anyway oh yes look at that no problem whatsoever just drag that puppy out and it probably would have paid to drop that trailer off really first but never mind that's out so let's 
I think we're better off turning this one around. See, the, the one thing about it is because you've got that articulation, you can really turn the trailers round and what have you quite easily if you don't drive into lampposts. See what I mean? Where, look how easy that was to turn around. And what the hell is that going on there? That seems to be... We're going to have issues with this. That, that looked like it was the... The snorkel came out for some reason then. Uh, this is why we do testing to find these problems. So let's drop that there. Activate the ramp. Just like that. And then hopefully we should be able to change truck. No, we're too far away. Whoa. Those ramps always do that. Is that, oh, is that off the ground still? No, that looks like fine. So let's now we can jump in the collab. And this is another one what I've been having a go with. I'll probably do a video on this in the next. I might do, even do it later because um, this is another vehicle with a collab. It's just it didn't have nothing with it, and this has got all the different frame options you could ever want. Whereas I think before was it just saddle? I'm sure it was just saddle high. I'm sure that was all we could do with it. Well, we, yeah, we're on. We are on. Let's bring it to the front a little bit. And hopefully we can pack that. Turn that off. Jump in the Antarctic. Let's get those ramps up. Just like that. And then pack trucks. And the blocks have appeared. Brilliant. Oh, and look at that with that. With that engine, that didn't—I didn't even notice that was on the back. Oh, what the hell is that? I tell you what, I reckon that. What the hell is going on? Yeah, see, that is. There seems to be a snorkel there causing issues. Let's see if we activate the suspension, and that might clear it or something. But no. Uh, it's dug into the ground and what a bloody nightmare why has that done that so we're not going to be able to go look at it it's actually stuck now and you ain't going anywhere with it are you that's just dug into the ground and unbelievable let's just drop that trailer off and see there's a little bug with that trailer as well where the pin doesn't drop in properly. Uh, this is what happens with mods though. You just have these little problems here and there. and But that is a major problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, we're going to have to recover that back. And I think we just got to take that snorkel off because that is the issue. Just take the snorkel off. It won't let me take the snorkel off. I don't want, oh, bloody hell. All right, let's just try the stock air filter and hopefully it will work better. Right then, so I've got that sorted and I think that was the main issue. It was that, that snorkel was causing problems. But it just goes with doing tweaks on stuff sometimes stuff doesn't work out properly but never mind now now pulling this you can see with that the military engine it doesn't make any difference that is on the back whatsoever and the collab is quite a heavy one so let's try and get this rain this bend without it uh, having issues now I, I did flip this one over a couple of times and I think a lot of it is to do with the steering's a little bit quick whereas if you're going along and you hit that steering but I did find it flips up the other way if you turn the wheels the other way it, it will flip itself back up but of course we got autonomous so even if you do roll it it's not a problem so we're going to go up to here and there's a little track down on the right hand side what's got quite a bit of mud and what have you so I think we're going to head down there because we've got Tagers we've got loads of power 
and I don't think we're going to have any problems. We should be able to get down there okay. Slow that down before we go around the bend, otherwise we will lose it. But it seems to be pretty capable. Especially with that extra engine on there. Now I, I haven't tried the other engines yet. I will do. Well, there we go. Just go watch that steering. Where it is a little bit too tweaky. You can see a little bit on the the game pad, and you're like, it just flies off to that way. Let's keep it where I can see what's going on. So here's the first bit of mud, mud obstacle, mud, mud. And yeah, it's going through there without any issues whatsoever oh the only issue is the driver but all the suspension on this active seems to be working without any problems as we did have a few problems on the other trucks with the active just being rigid you can see those wheels are working away there moving up and down let's put the active on and raise it up oh that was raised up I thought it was a little bit higher but no so that was raised well yeah flying through the mud without any problems let's just slow it down a bit what about into a bit of a low it's got perm diff hasn't it yes so the low plus seems to be quite quick as well where well, some of them they're, they're quite slow and low I know low is meant to be slow but when you've got low plus low and low minus then you want low plus to give you that extra extra little bit of speed really don't you so we go through through the water and yeah not a problem is it whatsoever I think we'll probably go back into the auto box hopefully we're not going to get stuck on that nope it come through thought we might have got stuck on that tree stump and swing hard left Yeah, and that is flying. As soon as it starts picking up speed, we are away. I'm just not too keen on this articulated steering on the Antarctic anyway. I don't tend to use... Well, I didn't use it that much anyway because you couldn't do a lot with it. It's a lot better now. We've got mods coming. And I can't wait for mods to come to console. Now, this max pack, there is quite a few... Uh, trucks in there. I think there's about 27 altogether, and there's still quite a few I haven't showed you yet. So we will go through that in the next few days. I've just been doing other mod reviews and what have you. So there's always something to do. There really is. But I like the look of that with the Tagers. Pretty nice. There you go. Bouncing around everywhere. Righto. Well, that's it for today's mod review on the Antarctic which is one of the mods which are going to come to console mods which is part of the max pack which is all based on vanilla trucks being tweaked to whatever you want so you can have what you want if you want extra power you can have it if you don't then you can and you just want extra tires you can do that so jobs are good and right out well you've been watching uk gamer 808 and i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did why not go and check out my other videos i've got hundreds of snowrunner content thanks for watching until the next time goodbye